published 0445 EDT, 22 September 2017 Updated 0445 EDT, 22 September 2017 Ahead of this weekend's action, SportsMail will be providing you with all you need to know about every fixture, with team news, provisional squads, betting odds and optostats. Here's all the information you need for Swansea's home clash with Watford on Sunday. Swansea vs Watford Liberty Stadium, 300 Team News Swansea Swansea boss Paul Clement has no fresh injury concerns as he attempts to build upon a solid start to the Premier League campaign against Watford. Clement shuffled his pack for Tuesday night's Carabao Cup third-round win at Reading in which Wilfried Boney was handed his first start since rejoining the club and the striker could retain his place. Kai Sunjiuing has returned to training for the first time since undergoing knee surgery during the summer, while fellow midfielder Nathan Dyer was due to play for the club's UNDER 23s on Friday after sitting out since February with an Achilles problem and they will not be involved. Wilfried Boney could start for Swansea as the Welsh side welcome Watford on Saturday provisional squad Fabianski, Nordfeld, Norton, Fernandes, Mawson, Olsen, Klukas, Fur, Carroll, Sanchez, Au, Abraham, Rangel, Van der Hoorn, Britton, Mesa, Fulton, Narsing, Routledge, Boney, McBurney. Watford Watford will again be without defender Miguel Britos through suspension for the Premier League match at Swansea. Right-back Heiko Feminia should be available after missing the Manchester City defeat as a precaution because of a head injury. Sebastian Prodlthai is stepping up his rehabilitation, but Young's Cabal hamstring is not expected back until after the international break. Fellow defender Craig Cathcart and forward Moro Zerate continue their recovery from knee problems. Watford will be without Miguel Britos and Marco Silva's side lie in 11th place in the table provisional squad Gomez, Halibas, Cabasel, Mariapa, Janet, Richarlison, Dowker, Cleverly, Chilaba, Carrillo, Gray, Carnazes, Ziedler, Success, Wake, Dini, Capoet, Pereira, Feminia. Key match stats applied by Optus Swansea City have lost just one of their last 10 league home meetings with Watford W5D4L1. The Hornets' last win at Swansea City in league competition came back in February 1983-31 thanks to goals from Luther Blissett and John Barnes. The last four Premier League meetings between Swansea and Watford have seen just three goals scored. Despite there being 96 shots attempted 3.1% conversion rate. Coming into this match day, Swansea City have attempted fewer shots 30 than Spurs striker Harry Kane 32 in the Premier League this season, scoring the same number of goals too. Five players have attempted more shots on target in the opening five match days of the 201,718 Premier League season than Swansea City 7, Mohamed Salah 13, Harry Kane 11, Romelu Lukaku 11, Just Salu 10 and Sergio Aguero 8. Renato Sanchez will be expecting to feature for the Swans, after impressing so far Swansea have allowed their opponents 74 more shots in total and 22 more shots on target than they have attempted themselves, this is the biggest negative differential by a team in the Premier League this season. Watford have used 22 different players already this season a total that only Liverpool can match. In 201,617, they also used the most players in the Premier League 33. Watford will be looking to win three consecutive top flight away matches for the first time in their history following their wins at Bournemouth and Southampton this season. The Hornets haven't kept three consecutive clean sheets away in the top flight since March 1986. Watford's summer signing Nathaniel Chalaba has already played 270 minutes more in the Premier League this season than he ever managed at Chelsea in the competition 429 v 159. Andre Gray has scored just one goal and attempted two shots on target in his last 16 Premier League appearances, despite it playing 975 minutes. 